in our last video we looked at adding all the components our VOO components we also added some node packages that would help us much much later in the project like vform v markdown editor suite alert moment and font awesome now we want to install the store the VOO store let's go to the website and see what the website has in store for us so this is the website and this is the command to install the store so i'll do that right away all right that is done and just like we did for the VOO router we'll do the same thing for the store now so I'll add a new file here called store.js. On the store, there are things like uh, states, the getters, the actions, the mutations, and a whole lot of stuff in the store. First of all, the most important thing to do is to import vu from vu, obviously. And import the store now from from books okay and vu use like i said before the store there's a whole lot of stuff going on here I talked about the category and the post being saved to to the store when we were creating the components in our last video and this is where it all happens and these are the getters it just returns states.category I'll show you how this works much much later when we begin to use Axios calls Axios is an HTTP client for those of you that are familiar with Vue and if you if you are not familiar with Vue, I would request that you just check this up. Axios is an HTTP client that enables you to make API calls to your server. So we want to be able to do things like all get all categories, get all posts, get blog posts, get and so on and so forth. So I've written all this just to save us some time. Now there's a, one more file we need to create. If you come to this place, you will see that there's a kind of filter in this list view called sort length so we need to create that filter now because we've not created this filter so in this place i just add a new file call it filter.js moment from moment since we have moment already filter so we'll leverage on the vu filter this time around extend it to create our own time format and yeah look at look at what it says here the string then definition so I'll pass in the arguments And this will return it's just going to return a moment time in the format that I'll specify now okay the next one is blue Filter. That's now the sort length. All 
okay since that is created the most important part entering into the project is the app app.js now let's go and look at how we're going to run this project now and see how this project looks like and the app.js is the most important part some things have been written already in this file it says require bootstrap require vue and all that and all that okay um i'll just delete all these ones for now because we don't need them what i need to do is to import first of all i'll just import font awesome which we have already installed the next one markdown All this you can find on the documentation pages of these packages if you have any issue with the packages whatsoever please just go to the documentation pages of these packages and check how you are instructed to reference them in your project and, and that is exactly what I'm doing right now the next thing is to import my store This is directly inside the project so I can just do this already visual code is giving me suggestions which is absolutely brilliant this router from routes okay I can copy this and change this one in my own case I have admin main requires this dot admin admin master just want to be sure about that if add components admin admin master okay that's correct Let's add one more let's call this home home and this is the public folder this is public master okay so i have a few of them here um from the v form from the suite alert and from the toast as well the next thing is to inject the store and the router into the app which i'll just do here store and the router okay and obviously uh, let's be sure that we are injecting into the right thing which is app so where we should check is the admin master and on the admin master this is where we are injecting into so our id is roots okay because this is what wraps up the whole thing our id is root so i'll do that put that root now in this place okay and with this i think we should be ready to go so first of all let's run npm run watch and see what that gives us hopefully there is no error and if there's error we'll just try to fix them right now okay so that builds successfully all right so let's try to just run this project and uh, We'll see if there's also a problem from our server as well. On the front end, I think everything is fine. okay so this is our website and let's move to the back end
and obviously yeah I have to log in as you can see I'm getting to the back end now because everything is fine and this is the category these are the posts you can see that there's nothing on this table now because the calls I made there are no routes yet so take a look at the routes for the server you can see we just have three which is the home the back end the other routes to the controller that should perform the action of getting the post and getting the categories have not been done yet so in our next video that's what we will focus on we will focus on getting the routes to work and for us to see the posts and categories on the back end a quick recap on what we just did in this video we've installed the store the vu store we extended vu filter to create our filter to help us format the date time with the help of moment.js package which we already installed before now and that's it for this video see you in the next